Good evening everybody, Johnny Jans here, coming to you from outside Universal Studios Gate. And I welcome you all to day number 46 of this thing that I'm doing. And I think it's finally the time that we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna go inside and check out the Mardi Gras Parade. Been waiting to do this for a while, been excited about the festivities, so I'm gonna go get a good spot, hopefully the annual pass section, where I can see everything. So I invite you to join me as we go inside and do some. Hand ring around. Look at this, starting out the night. We got some seahorses, stilt walkers, greeting everyone, getting ready for the Mardi Gras party. Yeah, so the goal tonight is to get, is to combat the wind. Got that? So the goal tonight is to get to the annual pass viewing area. It's right in front of Mel's Diner and you can get the prime viewing of the parade. So that's my goal. It's very windy tonight and Universal I think is, I've heard it's pretty crowded or it's gonna be. It's gonna be crowded this weekend. So, because Mardi Gras is in full swing. Here it is, the annual pass viewing area right in front of Mel's. Never did this before. There's some people. I wonder if I just show my pass and they'll let me in. There's already people here. All right, I am camped out here for the long haul until 7.30, what time is it now? It is 6.04, so we don't have that long to wait, but I'm camped out in the annual pass viewing area and the parade's gonna come right out these doors here and then take a right down Hollywood all the way around studios and it's gonna end up to the left here right in front of Mel's Diner. So I'm gonna, I wanna be right where it starts because they're gonna get the most chance to get the beads out or they won't be ready to throw the beads and they'll throw them on down there. But I'm hoping they maybe told people this is the annual pass so they give us a couple beads. We'll see how we do bead wise tonight, I don't know. If you don't mind sitting back from the parade, those people are on those steps right in front of Mel's there. Um, you're not gonna be close enough. You might get some beads that get thrown out afar. Because again, people rip the beads I've seen and they travel. So even those people, even though they're kind of far from the curb right now, they might get some beads. Plus you get to sit to class, car, next to classic cars, which is always fun. What you got? The, the, the map. White, the white dots, those are where the parade goes. Oh, look, okay. So where we are is right here, right where Mel's is. The parade's gonna start and see the arrows. This is how you know, you get a map and you can see the arrows of where the parade goes. And just like I pointed before, it goes in a big circle. So if you're out over here by Men in Black, you're out of luck. You wanna be right in this area. I plopped down here on the curb, and now we play the waiting game. Time check right now, it is 6.12. And there are some people coming to the annual pass section now. It looks like the curb is pretty much taken. I'm holding the last spot on the curb here. I have these fences in front of me. I don't know if they're gonna disappear, but it's really not gonna obstruct my parade view. I said before, there was only a 20% chance of rain. Hopefully that holds true. I would not like the rain to come and cancel any parade festivities, but. Now this is interesting. You got a Universal team member checking the wind speed over there. This isn't testing for the rocket, I'm sure. They're probably doing this for the parade that they can make sure they're okay to let the floats go. Right now it is 6.33. It's getting darker, as you can see by the lights getting brighter. And more have, people have arrived here in the annual pass section. Just like that, it's seven o'clock now. And over here in the annual pass section, it has filled up quite a bit on the curb here. I hear some music getting louder right now. And um, let this be a note, depending on how you wanna see the parade, if you wanna see it as it starts, you wanna sit on this side of where these greens are, if you're the annual pass section, of course, because again, it starts right there and then it'll continue on down the street. So where, where I am, I'm gonna get to see it all start and I have the best chance to get the most beads. But maybe you wanna wait towards the end where you can get maybe a more of a clear picture of it as it comes down the straightaway there. So anywhere around that like post, right around these plants, you're gonna see the end of the parade. And maybe if you're taking pictures, you're gonna get those better shots. Here we go, it is 7.15 right now, 15 minutes, the parade starts. Annual pass section has gotten a lot more crowded now. 
Doesn't seem like there's too much space left for people on my side to see the start of the parade. We saw this section over by Cafe La Bamba getting all crowded over there in front of the horror makeup show. Completely crowded on both ends. And I think it continues on all the way down the street right now. And we're getting excited. Only 15 minutes to the start of the show here. Look at this, we got a band making their way across here. Live entertainment. It's a good way to pass the time. Oh. Still time. Less than 15 minutes away from the start of this parade. 7.17 now and the road has been blocked off with a rope right there. They are closing traffic as the parade is coming in just a little over 10 minutes now. Here we are at 7.28 and you can feel the anticipation building. Everybody in the annual pass area is now standing, standing room only. You could even, if I zoom in just a little bit, I can see the feet behind the gate there. Those gates are about to burst open and the party is gonna flow through it right now. We are just literally a minute away. There we go, 7.30 on the dot. Let's see a parade. Oh, music's dimming down, here we go. It's happening. Something is happening. the Mardi Gras float, pumping out steam and fun, and it is packed to the brim with guests ready to throw some beads, and here they come. Oh my goodness, they're launching them out right now. Wow. Woo! Right to the camera. Wow. They just, they're just flying. All right, we got the next float here. It's some kind of peacock bird creature. And here come the next wave of the bees. Oh my goodness. There's so many bees. They're coming right at you. The next float here, it's a bunch of jesters having fun on the front of this float right now. Look at that. Elaborate colors. And there are the beads, and here they come. Next wave. <laughs> oh, they got confetti. There's some confetti that just happened right there. And we got dancers, sea dragons, or regular dragons. There they are, looking good. Junior Jans is putting his hands in the air like he just dealt right there. Have a dragon. And there's some people. Not many on this float. But we got them. See what we got here. There they go. Next float. We got like a satyr looking float here. Very mythological creature indeed. And he looks like he's having a good time having a drink on that float right there. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. They come, they come so fast. Right, so look at the tree. Look at the tree up there. That looks cool. It's like something out of the Rainforest Cafe. That's what that makes me think of up right there. And look at the sprites right here. Picking up some beads. Got a still walker here looking awesome. All right, we're coming up on the next float. It looks very musical fire, like a phoenix. This thing is rising up like a phoenix right now. Putting our arms up. Here come the beads. Here come the beads. <laughs> We got it. Go. Oh, we got fire. I just saw fire up there. <laughs> Little Jams is killing it. Only one arm. And look how many beads she's got here. Good job. Water, like a water monster. Very aquatic. And here come the beads. 
That's awesome. Look at him go. Look at him fly right there. That was a good one. That was awesome. Right to me. That's beautiful. There's bubbles. <laughs> There's mist bubbles. I thought I missed the bubbles, but apparently they're mist bubbles. Get it? Uh, hey, this is the unicorn flow. Look at that magical unicorn. Here come the beads. 100 miles an hour. Here they come. Here they come. Trying to film and catch beads is very hard. Bubbles coming out of that thing. It's amazing. It's a fairy. That's it. That's the word I was looking for. It's a fairy. Fairy flow. Here come the beads again. Whoa. They're getting launched all over. You gotta be really, really quick there. Wow, look at that. The festival beads right there. But that's cool. Oh, I love this. This is like the Bourbon Street Mardi Gras type French Quarter float right here. All those things. What a cool looking float this is. <laughs> oh, I want to jump for it, man. <laughs> there we go. And here we are. We're coming to the last float right now. And it's the alligator float. That's the finale. So you better get ready to catch some beads. Launching off some steam, it looks like. It's blowing off steam. It really is. <laughs> looks like it's cooking. It's on fire. <laughs> wow. All right. Look at that mouth. Look at that thing. It's so big. So awesome. The arms are going up around me, and here come the beads. Woo! There we go. Wow. Woo! So close. They're all throwing the beads. There they go. Two. I keep getting into it, but it's really hard to get. <laughs> there, ain't, there ain't no way. I'm going to dive for that. That's for sure. Hey, there they go. That was good. Nice. Oh, there's beads people up there. I didn't even see them. That's cool. Wow. Look at that. That goes, that goes pretty far back. Just got to wait for that perfect one right there. Wow, that's going far. Very cool. Oh, wow. Right there. Good job, buddy. He landed it. And just like that is the end of parade. What a good Mardi Gras parade that was. All right, just like that, we are leaving the annual pass area. And again, I was in the front, so everybody clears out first. But let's see how the kids did. Look at their bead collection. They did amazing. Look how many little Jans got for just one arm, by the way. You did awesome. And Junior Jams, he's just covered in beads. He has it literally hanging off his arm. Good job, bud. What a good Mardi Gras. I did okay, I got a couple, but I was mostly filming the whole thing. Very hard to film and try to catch beads. There was these guys behind me. Every bead I touched, they sucked it right out of my hand. But it's okay, it was a lot of fun. And as I'm making my way out, you can see the aftermath on the street here from the parade. It is full of confetti. I'm sure there might be some beads still laying around somewhere, I don't know. But again, we saw the beginning of the parade, so we're gonna be the first ones out of here before it circles back and the big crowd comes. If there's one theme park parade that you should experience, it is the Mardi Gras parade here at Universal Studios. It's, they do a great job. The beads are so fun. And, and you saw the floats, they were amazing. What a good parade. All right, folks, that was an awesome Mardi Gras parade. But now I hopped up over here to Islands of Adventure where I'm going to try a fun Mardi Gras snack, a traditional Mardi, Mardi Gras snack, and that is the King Cake. And here's what I'm trying tonight. It's the King's Cake, traditional Mardi Gras cake. It actually even says traditional cake with cinnamon swirl, icing, colored sanding sugar. Sounds delicious. Okay, now this is traditional Mardi Gras cake right here. I had no idea how big this cake was gonna be. Oh my gosh. And right off the bat, you can see the multi-colors of Mardi Gras. You even got a little guy on here. 
Maybe he's the king or something. I don't know, sitting there. It's pretty cool. Time for my traditional piece of king cake. Long live the king. Mmm. It is. It tastes a little bit like an intimate cake that you gotta get from Publix or something. But you know what? It's Mardi Gras, so it's super good. Eric, what did you think of the king cake? It's like it's like a cinnamon bun with some frosting on it. Yes. What it did is, you think of the king cake? It's good. Chocolate. Chocolate? <laughs> There's no chocolate on it. But to you, everything's chocolate, Mr. Bead King. All right, well, happy Mardi Gras, everyone. Right? Yay. <laughs> Well, there it is, folks. We had a great night tonight. Got to see the Universal Studios Mardi Gras Parade. It was so much fun. Definitely one of the best parades at any theme park you can do. Just because adding the beads and catching the beads is just a super fun time. There goes the Hulk right there. And also getting to be in the annual pass section was spot on, had a great view. Great party, great parade, and then even made it over here to Isles of Adventure and had me some king cake, which is the Mardi Gras festive treat. So it was a good night tonight, but that's gonna do it for me. Until next time, I'm Johnny Jans, and I'll probably see you here at Universal, but I'll definitely catch you out there. Hand ring around. This is kind of neat. I'm like the last one out of Islands of Adventure tonight. <laughs> as I'm coming through a very empty Marvel superhero island right now. In fact, you can say that I am truly closing Islands of Adventure tonight. Wow.